Welcome to iLecture Online and continue with special relativity. Now we're going to look and see how length changes when things start moving really fast. So let's say that we have a person here who's at rest and next to that person is a measuring stick, a meter stick, one meter long, sitting there and of course we look down and we see it as one meter long. But what if the very same meter stick flies by at a very high speed. Now, I don't know how you make it go that fast, but just assume that we can make it go really fast in such a way that the person looks at it and says, oh, that looks a lot shorter. It looks at it and says, oh, that I can see that that's only one foot long, basically shrunk down to about one third of its normal size. So how fast is the meter stick moving? Well, the equation we need for that is that the length observed as seen by person at rest, looking at something moving, very, moving by very fast is equal to L sub naught, which is the length of the object at rest, times the, times the square root of one minus V square over C square. And what we're trying to find here is find V when we know that the rest length is one meter and the observed length when it's moving really fast is one foot. So let's then solve that equation for V squared. So first of all, I'm going to um, divide both sides by L sub naught. So L divided by L sub naught is equal to the square root of 1 minus V square over C square. Now I can go ahead and square both sides to get rid of the radicals. So I end up with L squared divided by L sub naught squared is equal to 1 minus V squared over C squared. And then moving this over to the other side and moving this to this side, I end up with V squared over C squared is equal to 1 minus L squared over L sub naught squared. Then multiplying both sides by C squared, I get V squared is equal to C squared times the quantity 1 minus L squared over L sub naught squared. And finally taking the square root of both sides, I get V is equal to C times the square root of 1 minus L squared over L sub naught squared. And now I can go ahead and plug in the numbers to find out what V is equal to in terms of C. So let's move that over here. So we get V is equal to C times, and of course now what we get here is, is equal to the square root of 1 minus, and we have the relativistic length, which is 0.3048 meters, so 0 0.3048 meters, that's exactly one foot, divided by L squared, and of course we have to square that, divided by one squared. Okay, now with the calculator, we can figure out what that is equal to, 0 0.3048, we square that, we subtract that from one, okay, now we take the square root of that, and Ah, there we go. So we get V is equal to 0 0.952C, or 95.2% the speed of light. So the answer then is, if this meter stick moves at a velocity equal to 95.2% the speed of light, its length will have shrunk to one foot as compared to its rest length when it's equal to one meter. That's how you do that problem.